right, if you travel 696 through Farmington Hills, your commute just got a whole lot more congested for the rest of the year and next construction season as well. Kim DeGiulio joins us with an update on this massive project in Oakland County, rebuilding nine miles of I-696. Crews have been patching the pavement here on I-696 for years. It's time for a complete rebuild. MDOT is going to start by rebuilding the eastbound side first, so they're going to move the traffic on this side to the westbound side. With the snow returning this weekend, MDOT jumped at the opportunity to repaint lane markers and shift traffic over ahead of schedule. Uh, the sun's peeking out, so it allowed us to get this done today. Shifting all eastbound I-696 lanes between I-275 and Telegraph to westbound I-696, which means only two lanes will get by in each direction for the remainder of the year. But we're completely reconstructing the eastbound pavement from 275 to Lasser, the whole stretch, all the ramps, bridges, culverts, everything. So um, it's it's quite the, the investment in this roadway. Construction engineer Brian Travis says he's been working on this project for years. Once the funding was available, MDOT took action to restore the Ruther. When the Rebuilding Michigan projects were announced from the governor's office, this is one that rose to the top of the list. Uh, due to the age of the freeway and the pavement conditions. In addition to the reduced lanes on this nine mile stretch, certain ramps will remain closed through the year. But there's three that will stay closed. Uh, southbound Orchard Lake to eastbound 696, uh, eastbound 696 to American Drive, and northbound Telegraph to eastbound 696. There's going to be a lot to keep up on on this project. That's why MDOT has created a website, drivingoakland.com, for the latest information. We've posted that link on our website as well at clickondetroit.com. Along I-696, I'm Kim DiGiulio, Local 4. Hey, Kim, thank you. And the rebuild is set to be complete at the end of 2024 with other less disruptive work to be completed in 2025.